Hey guys, I actually just got out of the shower and um, I thought I would show you what makeup routine I have whenever I'm at the beach. Uh, during the day, I like to keep it simple and I pretty much just use my moisturizer with SPF. But at night, whenever I come home and I take a shower, I, you know, like to put some makeup on. But I still like to keep it simple and, um, you know, natural. So I'm going to be showing you what my makeup routine is for the beach and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, now that I have my hair back and out of my face, I'm going to be beginning. Um, this is the makeup case that I brought. It's just this very small uh, makeup case. And um, it just I just brought whatever, you know, the basics, whatever I needed. Um, to start off with, I'm going to be applying some moisturizer. And applying moisturizer is really, really important, um, especially when you're at the shore. Um, it's really hot. And you want to make sure you keep your uh, skin hydrated, especially if you have dry skin. The one I'm using is from Patricia Wexler, the Skin Brightening um, Moisturizer with SPF 30. And you want to make sure you apply your moisturizer generously. So I'm going to be applying it. I already have some on my face, so I'm not going to put as much as I usually do. You want to make sure you get it all over. And I know my face kind of looks oily now after I apply it, but that usually goes away. Okay, next I'm going to be applying an eye cream. And you want to make sure you keep the eye area very hydrated just because it's a very sensitive area and prone to dryness. And whenever you're at the beach, you're just promoting even more um, the dryness. So use whatever eye cream you have. Mine, mine has SPF 15 which is great so but whatever eye cream you have that works. Like that. Make sure you spread it. And you can go and put it on an eyelid. Now I'm going to be applying um, Chapstick. The one I use, this is like my favorite, it's Carmex. Um, my lips are really prone to dryness. It doesn't ma matter whether I, it's winter or summer. I get chap, you know, chapped lips really easily. And um, Carmex is the only one that I found that really helps with that. And this also has SPF 15. So I'm going to be applying that. Okay, so now that I have all my skin moisturized and all that, I cover the bases. Um, I'm going to be applying some foundation. I'm not going to apply a primer or anything like that just because I want to keep my skin very light and, um, you know, simple so my pores can breathe. The one I'm using right now is Neutrogena Healthy Skin, and I really like this one. And the color is Natural Beige 60. And I'm going to be spreading that really well. You want to make sure you don't forget the neck. Otherwise, you're going to have like a really defined line. Okay, this is a bronzer I'm going to be using. I actually don't know the brand just because my mom gave it to me and it doesn't say it doesn't say it anywhere on the containers. And I usually just take it out of the original container and then I mix it over here on the lid just to make sure I'm blending it really well. And this just gives you a natural glow. And uh, to be honest with you, I look really washed out on camera. Um, in real life, I have a little bit more color than what it appears on um, the screen from what I say. Um, but this definitely helps give you glow. Okay, and once again, you don't want to forget your neck. Okay, now that I'm done with that, I just want to blend it a little bit better with this brush. This, just blend it all over your face so it's, it gives it a unified look. Okay, now that I have my foundation and bronzer um, all covered, 
Uh, I'm going to be putting on some eyeshadow, but I'm going to keep it simple. The eyeshadow palette that I have with me is the Coastal Scents 88 um, palette. And I'm going to be using um, a really natural color. It's just going to be slightly lighter than my natural tone. So it's going to be look really natural, but still give that highlight effect. And it's going to be this one right here. And I'm going to do the same thing for the, my other eye. Okay, now that I have um, my beige kind of whitish eyeshadow, I'm going to just blend it with this brush. Just so it looks really natural. It's really not that much lighter than my skin, but it gives it some highlight. Next, I'm going to curl my lashes. One, two, three, and the other one. Okay, now I'm going to be applying some mascara. The one I'm using right now, and I've been using it for the past three years, is the CoverGirl Lash Blast. This one is actually waterproof, and I usually don't wear the waterproof one just because I find it really hard to remove it at night, even with makeup remover. But because I'm at the beach, I just find it as it, it's just easier to maintain it. And I'm not going to put too much. Okay, next I'm going to be applying some blush. And for that, I'm going to be using the same Kabuki brush that I used with my bronzer, which is this one. And the one I'm going to be using is um, by NYX, and it's called Mocha. And with this blush, you really just need a little bit because it's very, very pigmented. So I'm just going to be putting a little bit. Okay, and lastly, I'm going to be applying a gloss. I'm not going to be applying any type of lipstick or anything just because I want to keep it simple and really, na really natural. But the one I'm going to be using is by NYX, and it's um, Pink Frost. So I'm going to be applying that. Okay, I guess that pretty much completes the look. Um, as you can tell, I'm not wearing that much makeup, but I still feel good to go out. Um, but it doesn't feel cakey on me. I feel like I'm basically wearing nothing, but I feel confident about the way I look. So um, if you have any questions, please let me know. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you later.